Now, here's how I like to do a saxophone neck cork. It's going to be quite similar to the clarinet, uh, except for all the places where it's completely different. So the very first thing is it's made of metal, right? Um, we're not going to accidentally melt or burn anything on here. So take advantage of that if you can. There's nothing wrong with scraping off the cork, just like we did on clarinet, but there is an easier way. So I'm just going to kind of use a paper towel as a sort of a pot holder here. And then I'm going to take my air torch and I'm going to heat it up from inside. That should heat up the brass nicely and all the adhesive should let go. And I should be able to just kind of yank the whole cork off in one piece instead of having to scrape every little bit of it off. While you're doing that, if the, if the uh, smell hurts your nose, not, not just smells bad, it's probably going to smell bad, but if it actually stings your nose, stop immediately. That means this cork was applied with um, super glue. You need to stop immediately because you are breathing in poison at that point. All right, so if I smelled something and it actually hurt my nose, I would stop immediately. You would just be having to scrape, and then you wouldn't have the option to. Hey, all right, so it's off. Way, way easier than having to scrape all that. And we are pretty much prepped to go on to putting the new cork on. So at this point, um, you can use your calipers like we did for clarinet, but um, I don't even think that's necessary, actually. Um, because um, you can just kind of lay the cork flat. It lays flat like way better than the um, clarinet would. So the neck can just lay flat on the bench and you can kind of see where the discoloration stops where the old cork was and that's how you know how long to make your new cork. I've seen people say oh it should be so many inches long. Uh, forget all that because even if you do it at whatever the proper like length is supposed to be, Somebody's going to think it looks ugly if you don't cover up all the old stuff right there, right? So how long should the new cork be? Well, it should be long enough to just cover up where all the glue is sitting on the lacquer. So I'm going to make sure I've got all that discolored area covered. It's okay if you go just a tiny bit longer. Don't go too much, though. And that's how I'm going to decide where to make my marks. From here, very, very similar to how it went on the clarinet. I'm going to get my brand new razor blade. I'm going to grab my straight edge. Connect the dots and make the cut. I'm going to squeeze the pith out of it, just like I did for clarinet. A little wider, so I'm going to have to go up one side and down the other. And then, because it's wide, pretty wide, it's going to be actually a little bit wider than my razor blade, so I can't do just one straight... Um, one straight slice to uh, make the bevel where it's going to wrap around and lap over itself. So for that, I just grab something with a nice edge on it. This is just a bench anvil here. And I'm just going to kind of saw the 45 degree angle in. Just like that. Yeah, my contact cement. Um, I got the big uh, package of barge out for you guys to see. Um, that's just what the label looks like. And if you want to read all the details on the directions, it's right there. Unlike the small bottle that I used in the last video, which doesn't have the directions or logo or any of that stuff on it. Yeah, this big container is actually maybe even a little excessive for me. For the band room, this is way too big. Definitely get the small containers from JL Smith. Just like the clarinet, I'm putting the contact cement on the bevel and then on the side opposite of that. And don't forget, contact cement has to go on both sides.
then make sure you've got some way to let the cement dry on the neck without letting it glue to the bench. So you can use your bench anvil, just something kind of propping it up. And if you don't have a bench anvil, you could even use like a pair of pliers or something, just something so it's elevated, not drying to the your bench mat or anything like that. Um, per the directions, we gotta wait 10 minutes, then we can put it all together.